Hey guys, I'm Janice on occasion, and today we're continuing with our Carl Flames campaign. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'd start here at the, the uh, you know, Blackfire Pass. It just looks really cool. You know, with all the lava and the spikes. It's fun. Anyway, um, yeah, so we uh, we need to secure this. So we will need to go to uh, Ackendorf when these guys are ready. But Marius Lightdorf keeps getting hit by agent action, so his replenishment sucks, which is annoying. And um, Eckhard Meyer here, at least he's, he's replenishing. So that's something. These two should hopefully be able to start making some progress. Um, it seems that Grom Brindle is making some progress, which is nice. But he's raising everything to the ground rather than taking it, which is not that bright, sadly. That's a bit annoying. Also, uh, we're kind of, you know, we're ready for chaos, but they're just not turning up, so I don't know what's going on here. Um, I'm not really sure what the plan is. I, I mean, we could could start taking the fight to um, the Skaven, but I mean, it's all just horribly inhospitable terrain, and we don't really like that. It's just, it's going to suck. It's going to be impossible to really get these anywhere, which is annoying, but it is quite a high-level settlement, so if I take it, I might be able to build some pretty good stuff straight away. So that might make it worthwhile. I just hate that like horrible hit to casualty replenishment. It's very annoying. Um, but yeah, it might be worth might be worth taking it. But uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem a very good place for us to take. Uh, what might be nice though is if we actually take the uh, these mountain areas that used to be uh, Krakadrak, which sadly they did fail, which is very sad. Very sad actually. It would be nice to have some dwarven allies up here. I would like that a lot. But hey, they're they're dead. Whatever. Um, let's move in. That's the spirit. Yeah. So, oh yes, and the Wood Elves aren't doing so hot over here either. So yeah, there's a few things to have to watch out for. But we're making good progress. We're making good progress. We have managed to expand rather nicely. Um, hopefully, these guys will actually take Zufbar at some point. You know, any any time, mate. Any time you're ready. Um, I think some of the problem might be that they've got a lot of other decisions going. Um, there's a lot of other stuff they want to take, so I think they're just ignoring this because they have other priorities. That could be it. Um, or it could even be because there's ruins between them and Zufbar. I don't know. But I mean, it's all the same province. You'd think they'd be interested in taking it. So it's kind of frustrating. It's kind of frustrating. The dwarves aren't doing that. But hey, they're getting better, and that's all I can ask for. So, uh, we're broke, so I'm just going to end the turn, I think. These guys will just have to sit here, and um, we'll make use of them best we can when we can. So... Uh, oh yes, and Carl Franz. Yeah, so, felt a bit stupid uh, in the last episode at the end. I got rid of the Sigmar sons when, actually, I should have got rid of the wizard. The whole point was to replace him with Hans Braun, but um, whatever, I guess we'll keep him because he's in the army and we may as well just take advantage of that. It's kind of frustrating, but uh, it is what it is. You know, I was going to take him out of the army. You know, either disband him or move him somewhere. I'm not sure. Maybe move him somewhere, actually. He would have been quite good down here because, uh, yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got a jade wizard here, but that's it. So, Eckhard Meyer could have done with a spellcaster. That would have been pretty nice. Because, yeah, I could have used um, the uh, uh, Flaming Sword of Ruin on all the ranged units to buff their damage. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll crack on, see what happens. Oh, this looks good. Dwarves. Okay, they didn't take Barag Dwarves back. That's annoying. Come on, Grom Brindle, just take some territory. Like, that's, that's your thing. It's not his thing, but it should be. Hello, Karak Ziflin. Military Alliance. They want to pay me for it, which does suddenly make it very tempting. Um, uh, maybe? Actually? Because uh, I'm, I'm thinking of just throwing caution to the wind with all the alliances, um, honestly. And just see what happens when Chaos leaves and there's that inevitable, you know, everyone starts bickering again moment. Um, having to figure out who to side with in different conflicts could be really interesting. So, I am tempted. Um, it will make me incredibly unreliable, but that could just add to the, the sort of, well, to the chaos, once chaos are gone, um, funnily enough. So yeah, I think it might actually be really fun. I think that could keep things interesting, and honestly, I care more about keeping things interesting uh, than I do sort of min-maxing all this, as I'm sure you guys have probably noticed by now. So I might just go ahead with it so I can get a bit of extra cash. And I guess I could tell them to attack something. Tell you what, do you want to go fight, um... Oh, no, I can't, it's their turn, so I can't actually tell them to do that. They should just grey this out, honestly, when it's their turn, because you can't use it, but anyway. Friends in high places. 
Uh, let's see, you're approached by your sharpest political advisor, who has formulated a plan to increase your standing amongst the other electors. It will involve um, considerable politicking from you, however, and a great deal of time spent with each and every one of the heads of other states. Now, at this point, it just seems like a stupid thing to waste time on, because, you know, we've got chaos to fight. But also, it kind of makes sense that there would be a moment where we'd need to go to the elect counts and go, Guys! We need to sort this out, okay? Chaos is coming. We need to rally behind this. Let's let's get let's get this moving, guys. Let's get this moving. So um, I think it would actually happen. I think there would be, um, you know, while Carl Franz is up here, he would be visiting different electors or you know having meetings arranged in various cities nearby in order to you know rally that support, get them mustering their armies, get them you know moving their armies to the correct places, all that lark. So I think I'm going to do it. So a little ego fanning never goes amiss. Um, or, or we could go with, uh, it sounds like a lot of effort, which you have very little time for. Political gains can be made elsewhere. No, we're going to engage in the politicking. So annoyingly, uh, the green skins are just going to keep, they're just going to keep doing this. This is terrible because this guy, yeah, he's level 34. There's no stopping him. There's just no stopping him. Also, this guy, level 13, um, so he managed to wound our wizard, and Henry Hall, who he just recruited, got assassinated, so he's already dead, so that was just a waste of money. So, um, yeah, we're losing everybody. So, yeah. Yeah, we have no agents, and we I don't think we ever will. I think recruiting more down here, they're just gonna get killed. So, hell, Eckhart Meyer, or even Marius Leitdorf might be next. Which just sucks, honestly. It's just bad. Um, so this is interesting. Um, is his name Waz Humper? Alright, well, uh, old Yorin Lover over here. Let's work on fighting him, shall we? So, I do want to go into encamp stance. Over here. Because I can't reach in one turn, so I might as well. I think it'd be fun. Um, and you can get there with 50 as well. So you guys encamp in the pass. Probably the best place for it. That's where, you know, it's where all the big battles happen against the orcs. So it makes sense to hold out there. Um, I doubt we'll get attacked, though, considering that, yeah, Waz Humper doesn't really have a lot going for him. Uh, the dwarves may attack, which could be quite good, actually. If these two decide to gang up on Akendorf, they might end up sacking it and we can take it. Or even if they raise it, we can take it. It's going to take forever to build up, but at least we'll have it, you know. And it does have pastures, which is good. So that should put up our uh, replenishment nice and high. So it should be a really good sort of... Um, well, border territory, because in the border princes. Anyway, um, it should be a good spot to take, I think. And hopefully the dwarves will actually take some of this stuff rather than just raising it or sacking it, and they can start getting a stronghold, which I think would be really good. Um, oh, also, I had a comment uh, that I read just before um, recording this episode, and someone said, like, oh, yeah, use some of the other other dwarves, you know, to take Barak far. But no, that's, no, no, the whole point, the whole point is that the dwarves take it so they can get trade with the rest of the world. I want them to become more powerful. So it's in the dwarves' best interest to have it. You know, they've got the best trade goods, they can profit the most from taking Barak far. So I want them to have Barak far, specifically that faction, not just dwarves in general. Because, yeah, they need to be able to trade. And honestly, they need to be able to trade with the rest of the dwarves. They just need to, you know, be able to um, contact the rest of the world, and the best way to do that is with a port, so they need Barak Var. It's that simple. So, um, oh, we do have an upgrade here, which I'll do. And, let's see, we can get some pots. May as well. Might as well get some pots. Who doesn't like having some pots? Ooh, can upgrade that as well, but maybe Eshen needs doing. It will put up public order a bit, right? Yes, it will. So let's get all these places happier. Okay, good. I think that'll probably do. Nope. Let's get more income in Waldenhof. Brilliant. Brilliant. Right, so, Carl Franz, you need to make a move, don't you? Yeah, let's move you a bit faster, shall we? And, yep, re reinforcement range of one of them. Perfect. Excellent. Right, so we should be able to start pressing in and doing some work. Uh, we'll probably raise Hellpit to the ground. It would be nice just to wipe out Hellpit, if nothing else. Um, I think that'd be very useful. And I'm sure someone will move in at some point if it's left there for too, too long. But it would be nice to wipe out the Skaven up here. Because they are just a brilliant, like, support for Chaos. Just them running around, like, blasting Warpstone all over the place, you know, with their army of abominations. It's, uh, it's just bad. It's just bad for the Empire. It's going to be a lot harder to clean up after it. So <laughs> I think we should get rid of it nice and soon. Uh, also over here, I did notice, they, haven't, they still haven't taken the Isle of Wight. And um, there was a Chaos fleet up here, but it's basically dead. Like, the, the Chaos 
armies that Tyrion's having to deal with are basically gone already. So I'm going to tell them to take Isle of Wight, just so we can uh, undermine Throg some more. So, you know, I mean, he's strength right one, so, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, also, trade. Looks like I've got trade with everyone that we could possibly be trading with. And that's that. Brilliant. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, also, I'm going to keep Ulbrich in Eschen. Because uh, if I move into Castle Drakenhof, there's no way that'll ever be attacked. And actually, the garrison is so formidable. You know, that I, I think I can actually wait for Greenskins to try and attack it. I could always bring Ulbrich as reinforcements. But... I kind of want this to be a place that is going to get under siege. If I move him there, they're just going to turtle there forever. And if they turtle armies there forever, then the dwarves are less likely to actually take it. And I want them to take it. So I'm going to see if this pans out. See if they attack. I can destroy the army in a uh, like a defensive siege battle. And then the dwarves can capitalize on that gain. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, also, Steingart gets an upgrade. Build you some walls, shall I? Not walls. The other ones. There's walls, but the other way around. It's essentially what a paved road is, right? <laughs> it's just a wall on its side. Yeah, and walls, they're just roads. But, yeah, the other way around. That's what it is. That's how that works. Honest. Probably. I've not gone crazy. Uh, yeah, Lord not moved. Of course not. None of these guys have. Um, tell you what. Let's just encamp you. And you can go into um, channeling mode. Because I think that's uh, more appropriate. Because Voltmar would just be creating a little fort, you know, to keep all his flagellants safe. And, um, yeah, I think uh, Balthazar would be doing some channeling, you know. Suck up that Winds of Magic. Try and put up the Ulrich Bastion. And just generally um, try and stop chaos. And channeling a bunch of Winds of Magic is probably a good way to do it. So, send the turn. Okay, dwarves are on the move. Are they going to do something useful? I mean, yeah. Yeah, that was actually quite useful. I mean, they could have just taken it originally. Uh, Ungrim's on his way down as well. That's really good news. Ungrim has a full stack. Thorgrim has a full stack. He's not going anywhere near Zufbar. So thanks, Thorgrim. But uh, he's heading back to his capital, so I can't I can't be too mad. Oh god, he's coming for us. No, 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 get away. Okay, good. Good. He's not trying to assassinate anyone. Because, yeah, I don't want my lord assassinated. It does seem the AI does... Really love trying to assassinate characters, but it does tend to ignore lords, which I think is a good thing, because that would just be the most frustrating thing, you know? You'd have to just constantly be on top of the whole agent game, and it's quite boring, so <laughs> I'm glad that's not a big deal. You know, agents fighting agents, great, but if lords were getting assassinated all the time, I'd, I'd have no patience for that at all. I'd just mod out agent actions entirely. It's like, I want my armies to be my armies, like, you know... Happy for them to die in battle, but dying just to a random dice roll on a campaign map? No. No. That sucks. Not having that. Alright then. Uh, oh, brilliant. Skaven are attacking somewhere. I mean, that's not brilliant. It's actually quite bad. But it means we get to fight some Skaven. So, yay. Um, so, Visaland has come under attack from Skaven in the region of Dottenbach and are appealing to you for military assistance. Will you come to their defense and join them in battle or leave them to fight off their attackers alone? Uh, obviously we're going to fight it. I'm going to hire nearby mercenaries to help, I think. That, uh, 1,000 prestige. I mean, we have 11,000 prestige. We're good. So, let's attack. Brilliant. So, this might be a little tough, but... Uh, yeah, so long as we can get rid of the rattling guns and the warp fire throwers, then, um, I think we're going to be laughing, honestly. Um, because, yeah, storm vermin and everything else here, we can just cycle charge to death with Imperial Knights, and the guns will be great against those storm vermin. So, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. Um, let's give it a go. And we're on this map again. See, I really like this map, but this is too much. <laughs> it's every minor settlement battle um, is this map. And, like, it's a great map. And, yeah, look at this, a minor settlement. But this is silly. This is just silly. This is too iconic and obvious that it's this map, you know? It's it's too much. Um, yeah, this... Yeah. Yeah, this is too much. Love the map, but... This is too much. Anyway, uh, we, are, we can't do anything except start. Because we're coming in as reinforcements. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are caught on one side. So those rattling gunners could be a bit of a nuisance to us. But hopefully it'll be okay. This has worked out in the past for us. You know, against beastmen that are far quicker... So, hopefully it'll work out for us here as well. Yeah, let's hug the sides, maybe. Just hug the edges. 
Yeah, they're going to be a problem. They're going to be a problem if they can catch us. What is their speed, actually? 34? So, yeah, I mean, got slightly... Yeah, not some quicker, some slower, but... We're far enough away that I think we can slip out fairly well. I think we'll be able to slide out fairly well. I do kind of want to shoot at them a bit, but... Uh, I don't want to put him in ri like at risk in order to do so. So if he start if they start getting a bit closer, I'll start shooting at them. Okay, you guys get over here. Hopefully, if enemies start running after my knights, they'll run into the enemies there for me, which will be very nice. Okay, you need to move out that way, mate. Everyone, just move that way, please. Slingers shooting at me. Pfft, no problem. No problem at all. Okay, where are they? There they are. Yep, start shooting them, please. One arrow coming in. Not doing much. Come on, kill him. Here it comes. Oh, wow, that's an odd arrow. Yep, killing some, though. Killing him. Doing pretty well. It's doing pretty well. And then suddenly, not quite as well. Okay, you start moving that way. You guys start moving up. You guys start moving up. So you're getting some good damage there. Just keep shooting. Let's whittle them down. They're not getting great hits on us, so... And yeah, we're just killing a weapon team every shot, so... It's kind of perfect, honestly. Ah, good. Now they're trying to move. So let's hit them with that, slow them down. And look at this! Nearly done! Okay, hit him. Hit him. Oh, brilliant. They're broken. Excellent news. Yeah, you need to get out of the way, mate. Come on, start running. And are those, the, those are the storm vermin. So let's move out over here. Okay. Uh, uh, Skaven Slave is going to try and get in our way, I think. But should be okay. Okay, you run over there. You get into those Skaven Slaves. And you guys just line up back there, thanks. Alright, you move up. Uh, yeah, you move around, actually. I need you to kill these. Okay. Come on. Keep going. Keep shooting. Yeah, there's those warp fire throwers being a nuisance. Oh, we ran into spears. Of course we did. Why wouldn't we do that? Okay, keep shooting him. Taking me another. Yeah, it is. Excellent. And yeah, these guys getting absolutely melted. You keep moving. Front line. Yeah, front line's holding. We're good. We're good. All right, against the warp fire throwers now. Good. Skaven Slaves getting wrecked. Those Storm Vermin are actually kind of surviving here. Yeah, keep shooting them, mate. Keep shooting them. Come on. Please finish them off. And yeah, looks like our Swordsmen are winning over there. Just about. Okay, good. Now you get into those Night Runners. You're going to get a little bit sandwiched there. So maybe you should just back off, yeah? Hey, charge into the back of these guys. It's going to be a little messy, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Okay, that's good. That's all broken. They're going to break in a minute. Swordsman did get pretty injured there, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And yet, they're nearly all dead. <laughs> Those Gaven slaves are still going. Okay, how are you lot doing? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Oops. Right. Good. Warp fire throwers shattered. Keep chasing those night runners that can actually do quite well in a scrap, honestly. But uh, they're not going to try, which is nice. Oh no, storm vermin are back. Okay, they will actually hurt quite a bit. You start shooting them if you can, mate. You keep chasing them. They're shattered, which is perfect. And I do I want to hit them with something a bit bigger? Perhaps I do. You start running. All right. What's your speed? 
32 compared to 38. Ugh. Good luck, mate. Good luck, lads. See if I can't kill some of them. Get some nice shots in. Oh, more spears. That's fine. You keep running. Our guns still firing in. And the front line's doing fine. So, yeah, it looks like... Looks like we saved them. Looks like we saved them. Uh, you could probably stop chasing them and run into the woods here. Good. Alright, you start charging in. Can we keep shooting? Oh. Looks like the storm vermin are being sneaky. Except he's still firing at them. He was still firing at them there. Despite the fact we can't see them. That's interesting. He doesn't need line of sight, apparently. Which is unusual. Unusual thing to learn about him. So yeah, try and do what you can for that lot. You charge into the next. Guns still doing their bit. Just shooting night runners, but you know, it's fine. Front line still holding, although it's not looking great for Alderbrand Solander here. Really isn't. Really isn't. Oh, and they're back. Probably gonna get shot by him though. While they're approaching. And ah. These ruddy Skaven slave spears. Just keep chasing me. Okay, come on, boys. Yep, charge him again. Okay. Doing alright? Doing alright there, knights? Yeah, keep chasing. And what did you find? Hidden units revealed. Seriously, where did those rats go? It's super weird. Alright, can you shoot him or are you going to get line of sight issues? Line of sight issues, of course. <laughs> Some good gunning down there. Love it. Proud of you guys. Alright, see if you can't shoot those clan rats, yeah? Oh, yeah, alright. Charge back. How are you lot doing? Still, still just trying to chase them. City Empire Knights. We don't really need them over here, though. Everything... You know, remotely mobile is uh, has been dealt with, so we can just shoot things at a ledger. Seriously, where did those storm vermin go? Like, did they break at the same time? So I don't know. Did he shoot at them and they shattered, and then I lost sight of them? Is that what happened? Because I'm not seeing him anywhere. Just super strange. All right, can you attack him? Probably not. Oh no, no, yeah, he got. Victory is in our grasp, as it should be. As it should be. And, oh, oh, yeah, all right. They're back again. And did you get him? You did. Good. They broke. Excellent. Yeah, you guys get out of the way. Keep running around this way if you can. And there's the storm vermin. Found him, guys. Found him. Let's hit him with this. I just find these fun. It's weak against armor, but it's exciting. So I'm going to do it. So here it comes. Seemed pretty good hit. Seemed a pretty good hit. Okay, keep blasting them. Also, these little ridges, the fact you can just walk down them, I think is um, upsetting. It's not ideal. You know, I like this map because of the little ridges. You know, it, it splits up the battlefield. But when you can just walk up them, that seems like a bit of a bit of an odd one. But, yeah, it's all good. So they get shot to pieces... All right, charge by this way. Why the heck not? Hey, these these guys are struggling a bit. Okay, they shattered. What next? It's really just this guy left, isn't it? But he's getting he's getting dealt with. We're good. Oh, there's some baddies. Let's go chase them down. Looks like we are catching up to them. It's taking some time. Oh, they shattered. Looks like that'll be army losses. Yeah, look at that. Night Runners just shattered in there. And yeah, they've broken. Brilliant. So yeah, we defended. We defended. I'm proud of us. Alright then. Could execute the captives or pardon them. Obviously we're going to execute them. Although I could do with the money. Okay, so uh, Gerhard Sunscryer. 
is ready for duty. Don't really care. Also got Battle Wizard. Um, I remember him. He's ready for duty again. So we're absolutely flat broke, because um, we just are, really. I'm not sure why. What suddenly made us broke? What was the sudden change? What have I missed? What what ruined our income all of a sudden? I'm really not sure. Oh, probably this jerk. Yeah, you can leave. I don't need you, mate. It's fine. Wow, yep, that cost us two grand. How is he costing two grand a turn? What? Alright, never mind. Whatever. It's all good. So, Theodoric Gorser. Um, so I wanted him to have more guns, so I can just go ahead and recruit some there. Which I think is a good thing. And I would like him to get more Nordland Mariners, honestly. Um, we've got the Stir River Patrol available. So I'm going to get them over here. Not because we need them, but because I can? It's a good enough reason, isn't it? Better be. Right, so this is bad, though. We have Wurzag here. Wurzag is here, and that's going to be very, very difficult to break. Um, we need him to attack us, really. And Marius Lightdorf still isn't getting any replenishment. God, two replenishment per turn. Wonderful, mate. Wonderful. Um, could get him some bordermen, though. We're on a border. It makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. No, actually, we could just recruit some stuff here. Could get some more handgunners. We do have quite a few handgunners. Um, what we could simply do is, although I don't tend to merge people often, I think I'll merge these guys and recruit more. Um, should we go spears or swords? Let's go spears. Let's just get a bunch of infantry back. Because, yeah, we need them. If he gets attacked now, like, we've got, you know, there's some troops in Eckhard Meyer's army. So not much, huh? Not actually much. If we get attacked, we're going to have a serious problem with the amount of infantry that we've got. Um, or don't have, in this case. But, hey, I'm sure it'll work out great. Right? Right? <laughs> Hope so. Uh, right, Schwarzhafen. Uh, let's get you a road. Let's get you a road. There we go. We've done something. Uh, Ulbrich. Let's see. What can I get you today? Um, I think I'm going to go with Fervent. Just because I do have him babysitting, you know, vampire territory. I think it makes sense um, that he'd get better at that, you know? Right. So all this lot can move up. All this lot can move up. Okay. Will we spot any chaos? Is there any chaos? Or have they been dealt with? Did Talapheim wipe them out? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I summon you. Summon you all I want. I'm the Emperor. So yeah, we will be checking on these ruins. Because I have a feeling that they're actually... Um, they're actually all Skaven. Um, so yeah, let's... Let's just sit there for a bit, I suppose. Still not seeing any chaos. So yeah, I think we might just have to start confederating with all of the other nations just as soon as we're offered, because having all this territory in the north, it basically doesn't matter at this point, you know? It's like, yeah, they're fighting everything off themselves, and that's boring. So we should probably take it, so at least we get to fight something. I think that sounds, um, just sounds better, doesn't it? Just sounds better. So yeah, hopefully these guys will get some troops. Uh, nothing too expensive, but hopefully with the amount of guns that I have between the two of them, we could deal with things like Blackhawks and the artillery will help a lot. So we just need a front line that isn't absolute trash. But they might attack me before I actually have any infantry to hold the lines. It's all a bit of a problem. It's not the best. Not the best thing in the world. Ah, the moot. What can I get for the moot? Yes, yeah, let's get a weaving house. I think that sounds nice, doesn't it? So we got uh, the Grand Cauldron. Uh, I'm actually surprised they don't have, like, a, a tobacco field or something. You know, they, they only create spices and wine. No tobacco. Which, um, I think is a pity. You know, the moot is famed for its tobacco. Uh, maybe they just don't want to promote tobacco, because tobacco is bad. Uh, let's have a look. I think we're good. I think we're good just to loiter. Let's go to the next turn, see what happens. Please block movement. Oh, assault units. Okay. I mean, that works. Okay, this is very good. This is very good. If them and Ungrim run in here, this is going to be perfect. And then we can just take it afterwards. I bet this will be the one time they actually take something. Okay, what happened? What's going on? 
Okay, they took out the reinforcing army. That one. And now they're going to keep chasing. Okay, that's sort of annoying, actually. Are you going to come back here and maybe kill Wurzag for me? Nope. Nope. Fair enough. Oh, another army's down here, though. Looks like Azag's back already, I think. Could be could be a different character on a Wyvern, but I think that's Wurzag. Oh, Wurzag's leaving. Oh, my word. He just took out Ungrim. But he's weakened, so let's get some revenge, yeah? Oh, and they've taken Mount Squighorn. Okay, the dwarves are falling apart again. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Okay, damage walls success. That's annoying. That bad's been damaged, but I guess it doesn't really matter, because it's not like it's under attack or anything, so, you know. Who cares, I guess? Still, kind of annoying. Uh, oh! Couple opportunities to put up income here. Let's do the walls, because they're the cheapest. Um, I know it's only an 8% thing, but if it stacks, then it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so, Bretonia have taken Thegan's Errantry, but it actually goes to just Bretonia rather than showing me where it was. But, uh, yeah, look at this. I think they've confederated it all now. I don't think there's any Bretonian faction that hasn't been confederated by Bretonia now, which is pretty impressive. They're, they're pretty powerful. <laughs> and down here, you can see the Wood Elves have helped Bretonia out, just royally. This is really good. Like, there's some great little alliances going on. The forces of order are doing very well. Except the dwarves. Except the dwarves. Not going so well down here. Hmm. Luckily, uh, up here, assassination failed. But yeah, it seems that, I guess, the Chaos Invasion just triggers the AI to go, okay, start assassinating people. Uh, which I hate. It's very annoying. But it makes thematic sense. You know, it makes perfect sense that, that would happen. Just like, okay, there are a bunch of vital people that are going to try and stop Chaos from, you know, destroying the world, so let's kill them now while we can. So, it makes sense. Although, it doesn't entirely make sense for the Greenskins to be doing that, but whatever. I mean, it's fine, I guess. So, we've got Warhorse Breeding, which is nice, so that makes our cavalry a little bit yes. cheaper. So, where to now? I guess we'll just head to Fort uh, Ostrosk. Which I believe will figure out it's Gaven. Yep, there we go. And wow. Wow. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this is kind of insane, actually. This is a hell of an army. And like with all the rattling weapon teams, that's actually really dangerous. Unless they sit in the spawn point, which they might. But if they're just loitering near the walls, it's going to be very difficult for Carl Franz just to run in and murder everything like he normally does. And the Death Globe Bombardier. There's some serious stuff here. There's some serious hardware. Men, I will fight with you. So, reveal Clan Molder. Uh, right. Gelt, you move up to. Very well. I'll move. And also Voltmar. Everybody's coming to fight. Uh, oh, not there though, because that's... Uh, no, 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 just move, just move here, yeah? Okay, good. Um, so yeah, should we fight this? It's gonna be ridiculous. In fact, the balance power barely moved when I added these other two armies, which makes me a bit concerned about these two armies. Um, clearly not given a lot of, uh, whatever credit, I suppose. Um, alright. Do we fight it? That's the thing. This is the annoying thing with Warhammer over like Three Kingdoms is trying to starve out garrisons takes so long, just so so long, that you can't really. That decision is never on the cards, honestly. But uh, they may attack us in the open field, which I'm trying to think would be would that be better or worse? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that would be better or worse for us. Hmm. Yeah, let's just hang out here, and we'll we'll see. We'll see. If another army comes to attack us, like, it just means we're taking out more stuff at once, so I'll, I'll stick with it. Right, you there. Fort Oberstire. I guess you can build walls as well. Hmm. You know what? I just realized these, yeah, they changed the public order penalty by 50%. Why didn't I think of building these? Probably because they're a new building, and I never think of building them. Yeah, I'll build them in all my capitals. I think that's a good idea. So yeah, I'll build one in Tempelhof, Schwarzhelm. In fact, I should build one in Marienburg too. Right? How much are they? 1800? Yeah, I should build one. I should build them everywhere. It makes a lot of sense. Have them in all the capitals. Awesome. 
Right, uh, and yeah, new Drat World as well. Build them here. Build them everywhere. In fact, it makes a lot of sense to have something like the Night Watch. Because, uh, you know, in, in this kind of area. Because, I mean, it's a big pit in the middle of a scary, enchanted, terrifying place. You know, it, it could be anything that sort of tried to sort of burrow beneath us. It could be nests of spiders for all we know. It's just, uh, it's just good to have a Night Watch in some horrible, enchanted forest. You know? Right, so over here we are going to have to fight Wurzag. We need to deal with him. And it looks like the siege was broken over here. So, we might be able to take it. We might be able to take it if uh, Wurzag's gotten rid of. We have no spellcaster, annoyingly. Kind of hate that about this situation. Um... But yeah, Eckhard Meyer should do quite well attacking here, I think. We'll have this guy come as reinforcements, maybe? Or... Hmm. You know what? We'll actually have Marius Leitdorf take the lead with this attack, I think. Because, yeah, these are less mobile, and I want these firing straight away at his army. So, let's get involved. Yep. Yeah, he ran away. Thought he might. And Ackendorf has a massive garrison. Oh dear. Right. Uh, so what we're going to want to do... Oh, he'll actually come as reinforcements. This guy should be really fun if we got some dwarves involved. Really is just some dwarves, though. But... I mean, this could be wild. If we attack Akendorf this turn, Wurzag's going to come as reinforcements, and Grumbrindle will come as reinforcements. I just think that'll be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So attack Akendorf. Perfect. And Eckhard Meyer needs to get in here as well. Come along, Eckhart. Yes. I know you're used to fighting Norskins, but uh, you know this should be fun too. Should be fun too, mate. Leave no one behind. Um, are you gonna get involved? Looks like it. Yeah, good, good. So yeah, let's fight this. A lot of Black Hawks, and we have no spellcaster, which is dangerous as hell. But hopefully, all this artillery will uh, will really help. That should really help, and hopefully, we will get the Borderman here as well. Yeah, we control large army. We'll have to get the boredom in into. They can they can shoot on top of the walls ni <laughs> rather nicely. So, yeah, this should be wild. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. Um where do I want to go? Um it's so weird there's going to be a bunch of green skins in like an empire town. And it's also weird that the empire town is still looking like an empire town. It's not full of dung. Well, you know, more so than usual. Because greed skins, you know. It's a shame. The dwarf stuff gets a lick of paint. Empire stuff doesn't. But then I guess in the past, when Warhammer 1 first came out, um, you couldn't take territories of different cultures, could you? So, when the game was first designed and all this stuff was first created, there was no option for green skins to take Empire towns, I don't think. Was there? If I recall. That was a real point of contention for a lot of people. That's why they came up with the climate. Um, the whole climate thing. So I think I'll let the dwarves go this side and climb up, and I'll just uh, try and keep stuff busy on this side. I think that could be a lot of fun. Annoyingly, we have a lot of guns, which aren't actually the best for this kind of role, you know? They're not the best for this. So you can loiter there, you loiter there. Oh, I've got some swordsmen as well. But yeah, we're going to want to make sure that it's our... Um, artillery that's getting most of the work done initially, so these guys will just be getting shot at by towers, for the most part. Which is a pity, but you know, it's a it's a necessary pity. Uh, okay, it's all night goblins here, is it? Alright then, I guess we will be climbing the walls somewhat. And wow, that's taken a lot of damage already. Wow, it's, it, okay, it, it's cannons. It's friggin' cannons. Of course it is. Yeah, this could be a nightmare. This could be a serious nightmare. Ooh, those guns. That's disgusting. Alright, so, uh, you guys move up as well. So we will need to take the walls as quick as we can. We will need to take the walls real quick. Okay, so we've got all of them. Okay, good. Okay, bob and weave, boys. Bob and weave. Jesus, he's got knocked by a cannonball. That's wonderful. Thanks. Thanks, game. Uh, so, can lower melee attack and things, but... Wow, look at the damage it caused over here. That's wonderful. 
Okay, so put you on guard mode, and you start attacking, yeah, these black orcs. You need to start smashing this stuff, because, yeah, we can get our spearmen up here, and they should do okay against most of these guys. So, they're moving up. And we've got uh, Noble Sons of Broad and the Outriders. Lovely. Uh, got more infantry over here, so you guys start pushing up as well. And, alright, do we actually want them shooting? I don't think we do yet. Oh wow, they're actually hitting over there. That's wonderful. Right, uh, you guys are trying to aim for them at the moment. Hmm. Tell you what, you guys just attack whatever. I'll, I'll leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. So they got pretty wrecked. Um, our huntsmen over here, still putting in some work. I would like them to shoot trolls. Really? But we'll see what they end up doing. Um, so these swordsmen are getting completely demolished, which I understand. And yeah, annoyingly, they're in a bit of a crappy position for that. Mm. Alright, you start moving up. And, oh, Brain Buster. Oh, where's Ag, you little, little sod. No getting rid of him. There are giants and things kicking about. Luckily, the Black Hawks just aren't getting involved, particularly. Um, which is nice. Crimson Kill is very injured, which is excellent. So yeah, these spearmen, they're just going to loiter, I think. Actually, you know, get him up there. Black Hawks are starting to engage. So he can't get in, sadly. He can't really help much. Which is a problem. But I can nuke their stats. So that's something. So a lot of Archer Fire coming in, helping. Which is nice. I just, ugh, oh, wish I could deal with him quickly. Um, Alright, he's coming, though. He's coming. Yeah, let's get you up here. Oh, another Brain Buster. Oh. Hey it. Hey it. It's awful. Do not like. Do not like one bit. But, you know, some of our units doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Artillery still coming in. The dwarves have entered. We've got some slayers here fighting Black Orcs. Not the best thing in the world, but the giant slayers should actually do some good work with that armor piercing. You know, they're not going to be terrible. Uh, more archer fire coming in. And, you know what? Let's actually get these guys to get a volley into those night goblin archers. I want to hit these guys. And, oh, that crimson killers. It is the crimson killers. Brutal. Uh, yeah, he can't help. Oh, another brain burster over there. Ugh. Alright, hit Wurzag. Wurzag needs to be dead. And yeah, doing some great work over here. Awesome. But yeah, these, these Black Orcs are a real problem. Okay, good. Alright, now keep shooting Wurzag. I reckon we can get him. I reckon we can get him. But yeah, Crimson Killers though. Like, how the hell are we going to deal with them? It's going to be a long time before he gets that back too. Crimson Killers could hit him with these guys. Could hit him with these guys. We'll meet, he, it will mean running away. Which I'm kind of happy with. Oh god, a Brain Burster again. Oh, please, please kill him. Please kill him. Oh, I can hit him with that. That's nice. Yeah, keep running, boys. Keep running. Alright, this other infantry will have to move up now. I knew we'd suffer heavy losses here. But, uh, yeah, it's just all Wurzag. All Wurzag right now. Alright, let's hit them. Okay. Crimson Killers need to die. Wurzag needs to die. He is still in range. And yeah, you fight Crimson Killers. That's fine. How many are there? Like, none. There we go. Should all be dead in a second. They have 70 health. How are they still fighting? They're not even unbreakable. They fought to the last. Shows how good their leadership is. Alright, you shoot him. Excellent. Still got plenty of artillery fire coming in. So, let's get you guys rejiggered. Uh, looks like... Yeah, looks like our allies are doing alright over there. Looks like they're doing okay. And hopefully we'll be able to get these walls soon. That would be nice. Alright, you guys back in the corner. 
Okay, you're still getting shots into Wurzag. Please tell me you're still getting shots into Wurzag. Are you still shooting? It's hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, he's still going. Still apparently shooting Wurzag. It's not going half as quick as I'd like. Those Blackhawks still going. Uh, you lot. Yeah, you just keep where you are. I don't want you blobbing up too much and getting all wiped out. Um, we're keeping those night goblins busy for a while. And wow, some quarrelers, is it? Yeah, quarrelers firing in now. Beautiful. So yeah, a lot of things looking very injured here, which is very nice. Where's Ag, though? Not dead yet. Can you just be dead now, mate? Please. Okay, more archer fire coming over, including huntsmen, of course, which are very good for this sort of thing. Uh, you lot aren't actually getting the best hits in now, are you? So yeah, you move up a bit. Uh, yeah, like that. I know, a bit of a weird formation, but it'll do. Okay, keep shooting. Where's Ag? So yeah, those trolls are going to be taking quite a bit of damage, which is good. Definitely good. Alright, you move up. Come on, kill Wurzag. That's all I want to happen. Just want you to kill Wurzag. Please keep shooting him. Oh my god, it's taking forever. And we're out of uh, Arrow of actually. And now, a bunch of biggins are coming in. Which is definitely a problem. They are getting shot out though. So, you know, good and bad. It's not the end of the world. Uh, let's hit with this. I know, I do want to kill Wurzag. Oh, he's running though. He's running. That's good news. Didn't die, but that's fine. Better than nothing. And I guess you can shoot trolls now. That works. Okay, good. We're making progress. And yeah, looks like the Black Hawk's been taken care of, finally. So things are going okay. Things are going okay. Things are going alright. I've got to say though, just stacks and stacks of Black Hawks is... It's just bad for us, really. It's just bad for us. Um, you can probably do something about these guys, can't you? Yeah, you can. Okay, no, not not you. A lot of biggins. A lot of biggins. Dealing with them nicely, though. I like that. Don't go a bit Australian, then. I feel like I did. <laughs> anyway. So that's going all right. Uh, what else can we move in? I mean, we've got all these guns that we can put up the top, but there's still just so many orcs just filling that gap. It's very frustrating. Very frustrating. Oh, we've got some free company. They can move up. Okay, so that's good news. And yeah, we will need to push up this way. Because we need to get some shots into, like, you know, this giant, for instance. <laughs> He's been flashbombed by Grumbrindle. That's wonderful. Go on, chop him to pieces. And who's that? Rend, Goblin Big Boss. Yeah, you could deal with him. Just don't die to a giant, okay? Thanks. Mine is coming in. Oh god, trolls are coming in. Yeah, the dwarves are struggling a bit over here. We're taking ages to cut through these guys. And splash. Was that helpful? I don't feel like it was. <laughs> it's fine. So yeah, cut through these guys eventually. But yeah, you get stuck in. Should be fine. Yeah, put up the damage resistance. Sorted. Uh, also, tell you what we could do. Uh, do I want to risk it? Eh, maybe, actually. You, go fight that giant. Oh, damn it. Alright, you go smash that wall down if you can. That'll do. So yeah, it looks like there'll be army losses. It looks like the green skins have finally given up. But yeah, dwarves definitely helped a lot there. You know, they dealt with some of the black orcs. Um, took a lot of damage from the goblin rock lobbers that I didn't have to. And yeah, they kept that giant busy. Managed to kill him. Well, not quite kill him. Nearly kill him. Let's, let's actually try and kill him. <laughs> Just so this guy can boast about defeating a giant. Go, man, go! Speed it up. In you get, mate. Aha! Yeah, take that giant. And look, look, he did it. He did it all, all on his own. Killed the giant. Well done, Marius. Well done. You mad boy. Um, so yeah, there we go. Saw it. Close victory. Okay, yeah, that went great. Uh, well, Zag did survive, but should be pretty easy to finish him off now, um, if we can continue the chase. 
Oh, actually, no, he should get wiped out anyway, because he retreated once. So, yeah, he should... Oh, no, he came in reinforcements. Does that count? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I think he's going to get wiped out as a result of that. So, um, obviously, all our new recruits got completely wiped out, because of course they did. You know, that's what happens. New recruits. Uh, a lot of Slayers managed to fulfill their oath, so I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. And, yeah, just did fine. Did fine there. Artillery got a bunch of kills, as expected. So, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Uh, yeah, we're taking it. This is ours now. Wonderful. Potion of Strength, Rekard Meyer. Yeah, super useful. Super useful, that. And, uh, alright, Marius Lightdorf. Physical resist for defeating, uh, Wurzag. Nice. Uh, when you take a swing at the Prophet, you uh, smite Gork and Mork as well. Well played, mate. And yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like it did work. He's dead. And now... Because you guys have no interest at all in taking Zufba. How about you just take Barakva? Yeah? Probably shouldn't order to do anything, to be honest, because uh, they have this to worry about. So, yeah, hopefully Thorgrim can deal with Azag. And honestly, he should be able to. Azag is such a big target for those cannons. And uh, the Goblob is brilliant at shooting anything. It's like Black Orcs being so slow, Goblob will get a ton of kills on them. Bunch of unbreakable units. This army should do it. You know, should be able to kill Azag pretty quickly and destroy leadership really quickly. But we just have to see what auto resolve does, honestly. Just yeah. have to see what happens there. So you get a level up. One day you might be useful. Uh, pistol corpse is pretty handy. Hold the line is nice to have. The extra five melee defense is no joke. Um, but, you know, it's only nearby, so it'll hit a couple of units maybe. Let's go pistol corpse. There we go. And, oh, interesting. There's a, uh, yeah, artillery building. Uh, this is not in as good shape as I was hoping, given how good the walls were, you know? I think we need to go walls first. And, hmm. Oh, wow, our income just shot up from taking this, though, somehow. Although, I guess we did lose a bunch of units, so that probably contributed. Uh, so yeah, Marius Lightdorf, I guess you just need to get a um, bunch of spearmen, or a spearman, as the case may be. I guess these two are just going to sit tight. <laughs> let's just let's just leave it at that. They're just going to sit tight. But yeah, we do need walls on Akendorf, for sure. For sure. Right, so I think... I think that'll be the end of the episode um, here. Because yeah, I had, to, I had to stop at one point. Because it started just wazzing it down. I'm trying to be a bit more, um, you know, a bit more like a dwarf rather than just swearing. So it's wazzing it down, guys. It was wazzing it down, raining. And it was so loud that I just had to stop. <laughs> I just had to stop recording. So um, I'm not entirely sure if it's lined up to, like, you know, roughly the same size episode. But hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Brilliant. So anyway, these guys, um, probably we might end up fighting this next turn, which should be really interesting. So look forward to another massive battle. Uh, we're definitely making progress, fighting back all our enemies, trying to help our allies out, but they are making it very difficult for us to help them sometimes. You know, really not holding their own in a lot of circumstances. But it's kind of nice having Grom Brindle help us defeat uh, Wurzag and take Akendorf. Like, I appreciate that. That's nice. So um, yeah, hopefully this partnership can continue from strength to strength, or from rock bottom to strength that works better also rock bottom there's, I'm sure there's something dwarfing going on there um, yep I should stop talking right I'm sure most of you already left so guys if you enjoyed this please do comment like and subscribe oh yeah and most of you haven't subscribed yet I realized yeah looking at my stats that like I, way more people watching these um, haven't subscribed yet so consider it it does help the channel out and uh, yeah if you've got this far then clearly you're invested at this point so yeah just hit the button go on hit the button and the bell as well, so you don't miss anything. Brilliant. <laughs> I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. 